It's 10 years later. And the same agencies that knew that are the agencies that shut down the schools for two years. Who does that? Who takes away the support system for these children? Who takes them away and shuts it down? And by the way, when they shut it down, they stopped the mandated reporters from being able to see children that were being abused and sexually molested, and in fact sent them home and abandoned them to their abusers with no way to watch, and referrals dropped 50 to 60%. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you a great and wonderful day, and it just seems that um, Dr. Phil is becoming more and more based as we have seen it here, really laser eye powering, uh, destroying the view, and um, I don't really watch a lot of Dr. Phil, I think his show was uh, dumb and not really productive in a lot of field is areas. I don't know if he's a real doctor or not, but beside all that, besides he has the word doctor in his name, uh, I think what we're hearing here is a very base man talking about real base realities that the view just seems to really hate. They can't really stand it. And we're going to go over to here today, today as fellow Americans, as fellow people that were all alongside of Mr. Dr. Phil. So, we have this here. Dr. Phil rattles a view host with rant against COVID closures. Uh, it says here, Dr. Phil uh, uh, McGaw has criticized school closures during the COVID pandemic while appearing on The View, drawing the ire of the to uh, talk show's hosts. The TV personality and author 73 was initially asked about how he addresses social media in his new book, We've Got Issues. And like 0809, Smart Smarts came on, and kids stated, started, they stopped living their lives and started watching people live their lives. And so we saw the biggest spike in the highest levels of depression, anxiety, loneliness, and su suicidality since records have ever been kept, and it's just counted on and on and on. The crawl replied. And now, I agree, because I have mentioned this po before, that, um, that, uh, Social media has been very toxic towards kids in general, mostly females in regard, but kids in general too. Uh, it has not been beneficial. Uh, I really want the government to start doing something or us devise a plan on how we can deal with these social medias, maybe prevent kids from ever using social media until the age of 18, because um, it is incredibly destructive. And with females, when it comes down to Instagram and stuff like that, they are very appearance oriented. And this is mostly just due to the fact that, you know, uh, women try to look good in front of, uh, for a partner and obviously stuff like that. So this hurts them a lot more than it does with men. Now, granted, it still hurts men. Don't get me wrong here. But uh, it has gone, uh, he is right, has gone sharp down. And I, I think some things need to happen with Instagram. Now, I know some people are going to say, I don't like government inter government intervention. And I hear you, my friend. I definitely do hear you. Um, I'm not a really huge thing with government intervention either. Um, and normally, in most cases, it goes too far and hurts. Like what they wanted to do with TikTok, what they wanted to ban it. And everything in that actual piece of law would have been horrendous for the American people. So um, I understand to where having the government interfere is a huge issue. But I do think as a people, as a nation, we need to come together on how we can solve these issues. Because obviously, um, this is not going too well. Now, obviously, we have parents that will say, you don't have access to this or this or this. But, you no, know, again, I still think there should be age requirements for this place. And more harsher things at least put down on these platforms for allowing kids to be on so early. Uh, he then added, and then COVID hit, hit ten, hits 10 years later, and the same agency that knew that are the agencies that shut down the schools for two years. And we're going to go over a few of this stuff, too, because he, he does uh, bring up uh, a lot of this uh, stuff here. So uh, without further ado, here's a few, uh, few clips. It's 10 years later, and the same agencies that knew that are the agencies that shut down the schools for two years. Mm -hmm. Who does that? Who takes away the support system for these children? Who takes them away and shuts it down? And by the way, when they shut it down, they stopped the mandated reporters from being able to see children that were being abused and sexually molested, and in fact sent them home and abandoned them to their abusers 
with no way to watch, and referrals dropped 50 to 60 percent. So, there was also a yeah. pandemic yeah, going was, on. They were trying to save kids' lives. They were trying lives, to save so kids' well. lives. Remember, we know a lot of folks who died during this. So it wasn't, people weren't laying Not around eating bond, but well, you know what? We're lucky. Maybe we're lucky they didn't because we kept them out of the, the, the places that they could be, be sick because no one wanted to believe we had an issue. Are you saying no school children died of COVID? I'm saying it was the safest group. They were the less vulnerable group and they suffered and will suffer more from the mismanagement of COVID than they will from the exposure to COVID. And that's not an opinion, that's a fact. I will 100% agree with Dr. Phil here. We have made it to where very little of the percentage of the children that was going into this is, uh, that were hardly ever affected by the actual virus or the or virus in general, uh, they were hardly ever affected. And we have done more immense harm to our children's uh, mental state, uh, their uh, their education, and everything than we have actually benefited of them. So I don't see to where this has been even remotely had any positives because it had way more negatives than the positives. Uh, the whole closure hurt the entire country. And to think that like, oh, well, this is to help the kids. Well, it didn't help the kids. We're, we're not saying that some kids didn't, unfortunately, pass away due to these uh, due to the actual virus no and that's unfortunate however it was a very 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 low percentage of them that actually that actually happened to and he is right they were more safer um being in these being at school and other places and having been notified of the problems that was going on with them than having this close all together so sorry whoopi goldberg for your insanity of you know uh <laughs> i think that was okay now we have this here with uh, Western Lensman. Dr. Phil, we are using American tax dollars to ship children into known prostitution and sweatshops. This is a must watch. And um, we're going, and we'll, we will view this together here because this is something that is, you know, uh, very well known. Border guards down there, the, the other union. I ask him straight up kids are coming over the border with numbers written on them, phone numbers and addresses. Mm -hmm. Do we check those out? He said, well, we call them. Is it possible that we're sending them into known prostitution rings or sweatshops? He said, it's not possible. It is absolute. We are using American tax dollars to ship children into known prostitution All and sweatshops. Some children. Well, who knows? Okay. We don't know. I said, are you? So, what kind of checking do they do? So, they, they call the said, number uh -huh, and, and say, "Do you know about this child?" They say, "Yes." Will you receive them when they come? Yes. I said, "Is it possible that that's a prostitution ring?" He said, "We ha we know enough to know that it in a number of cases it has turned out to be absolute." sex ring. It has turned out to be an absolute sweatshop. I said, how is this possible? Well, what do they and he do said, then? it is happening. What do they do then if they know that that's happening? Where is the U.S. Attorney's Office? Where is the... Here's the here's Damn the good thing. question. You have, to, you have to re-ask that question when we come okay. back. Because okay. we're coming back with more. I talked to well, they're nowhere to be found. Because the Biden administration has revoked that entirely. They are going to keep on letting these illegals go through. And they just want the ability to... Um, uh, they just want the ability to... Uh, let the illegals come through and get more votes and stuff like that. And... Um, this is something that you guys should probably see here. Uh, this is something that you guys should what, what are these wristbands? Because uh, this explains a lot more as well. I don't know what they are. You don't, don't know. know what they are. Mr. Secretary, you have just testified to the American people you're incompetent at your job because I've been to the southern border. And if you go to the southern border, along the southern border, you see thousands of these wristbands because the illegal immigrants wear them. The drug cartels, every color corresponds to how many thousands of dollars they owe the cartels. You have turned these cartels into multi-billion dollar criminal organizations. And these are modern day leg irons because these are children being sold into sex slavery and you don't even know what they are. That is astonishing. 
Mr. Secretary, how many children have been sold into sex slavery under your administration? Senator, we are taking it to the cartel. How many children have been sold into sex slavery? In an Do you know how many children have been sold into sex slavery? To an unprecedented degree. Mr. Secretary, I want to say to you right now, it is your behavior is disgraceful, and the deaths, the children assaulted, the children raped, they are at your feet, and if you had integrity, you would resign. And I will tell you, the men and women of the Border Patrol, they've never had a political leader undermine them. They despise you, Mr. Secretary, because you're willing to let children be raped to follow political orders. This is a crisis, it's a disgrace, and you won't even admit this human tragedy is a crisis. What the senator said was revolting. I'm not going to address it. Your refusal to do your job is revolting. <clears throat> Exactly. And these are the people that I have in control of it. They don't even know what these, what those bloody things are. And what this is has everything to do with what, what uh, Dr. Phil is talking about. So if we want to really say what's been going on, the, it, it, he, he won't even respond. Because he's been caught in there in the headlights. This man is allowing this type of stuff to happen. The Biden administration is allowing this stuff to happen. They're giving these free illegals free cars, 10K, just go into our country. And this is the reality that we're facing it. It is completely abhorrent is that is going on. And Dr. Phil makes it a, makes a big slam down onto what's going on here. And the view just gets shocked. And, of course, the people on the side are cheering for it. It says from, more from us in Lisbon. If you find these kinds of stories and original content of interest, please consider being for a follow. So stuff like that. You know, it's insane. So, yeah. All the more power to Dr. Phil. He roasted the view. He really just told, went down and told them what was really going on. And, of course, some of them were not wanting to agree to the matter. Uh, he goes on to say... Uh, he goes on to say that the View host, uh, Honey, Sunny host, and pushed back against McCall's narrative, pointing out there was no, a pandemic going on, and they were trying to save kids' lives. Uh, he said, and of course, he said, no school children. We will challenged by Anna Navarro as to whether she was claiming that no school children had died because of the COVID McCall, but I'm saying it was the safest, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you know, this isn't tragedy that's going on, and he really, he literally laid down the view, and he's changing people's minds because people are waking up. And more people need to wake up to this tragedy. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease, the social media.